Well, hello there. Welcome to my channel. I am Floaty Lady. Tonight we're going to be opening up a new tattoo machine I got in the mail from Big Wasp Tattoo Supply. This is the Bronx V1. Let's do an unboxing. Okay, here it is, the Bronx V1. If you'd like a 10% discount on the V1, please follow a link in the description below. It'll take you to the Big Wasp Tattoo Supply website where you can put in code Floaty Lady to get your 10% discount. Let's open up the Bronx V1. This is a 3.5 millimeter stroke wireless mach tattoo machine. It is a pen style rotary. Okay, let's see what this looks like. So it is uh, indeed the gray uh, machine. They are all black on the outside and the strip comes in several different colors, including orange, red, blue, green, and this is the gray or kind of silver, if um, you ask me. So Bronk did put a good motor into the V1. It's got a Swiss motor. The operating voltages are four to 11 volts with their recommended working voltage from five to 7.5 volts. Here it just says, make sure to install the battery according to the correct positive and negative pole. So it looks like positive side is down. Okay, so uh, the battery's not in here. Let's see if it's underneath here. Da, 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 da. All right, let's check the accessories here. All right, here we go, boom. All right, we have two lithium ion batteries. Whoa. Comes with a couple O-rings, uh, charging port for the batteries, charging cable, two batteries. It only takes one to run. So let's see if they come charged. Not sure. Might have to pause the video here. Okay. Cool. All right. We've got the screen on here. Um, this is an LED screen. It actually reads very easily. I like the font. Um, I see the amount of charge in it, 39%. It says zero minutes, so uh, it, it's gonna have a counter for the amount of uh, tattoo time. Uh, it's automatically here at a six volt. And yep, it does go down in 0.1 increment voltages, so that's really nice. The Lowest should be four, mm -hmm. and the highest 11. And point one does take a little longer to skip around, but that's great. That's a lot of control there. So because this is a Swiss motor, if it's pretty powerful, it is good to have those incremental voltages. It gives you maybe more, a little more wiggle room in your control of the machine so hopefully that comes in handy again 3.5 millimeter stroke length needle depth zero to four millimeter the amount of work time is about five to nine hours uh, depending on probably what you're doing uh, what type of work you're doing and what voltages you're running at so pretty good amount of time and you have two batteries so you should be able to get through more than enough time you know for uh, a whole session in a day and then be able to charge up overnight and start a new day. So I think, yeah, two batteries is plenty. You wouldn't need to buy any more backups than that if it's truly a five to nine hours. So five to nine hours, great, cool. Two batteries, so that's 10 to 18 hours. I did math, cool, all right. The weight feels pretty good on this machine. It's 237 grams. I do like uh, some weight to to a machine and a nice ergonomic grip, something wide. Uh, so I think this seems pretty comfortable. Another neat thing about the V1 is that it has this optional RCA connector here. Let's see what that looks like. 
So there's the RCA connection. Um, so if you wanted to run it without the battery, All right, so that, you know, cuts the size of it down quite a bit. Now you have a little bit more weight at the tip with that kind of connection. So having that versatility of battery versus RCA is awesome. Let's try this thing out on some silicone. Let's do the battery first and then we'll move up to the RCA. Okay, here we are with the V1 all wrapped up and ready to go. Um, we have a piece of silicone here, a half finished project that we're just going to keep adding to, testing out different machines, seeing how line quality performs. Big Wasp did send me some new cartridges and a great assortment of them. We're going to start with a five round liner here in a 10 gauge. Just gonna pop this cartridge into the bronc. The needle depth is controlled with just a twist. We have the battery on. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit to a seven. Really easy turn for the needle depth. Let's listen to the voltages here. It's a 4.5. Seven. Maxed out at 11 volts. Let's start at a 9 volt. The weight with the battery feels pretty comfortable. Let's just go to a 10. Let's see how I get some in the 10. All right, so I'm gonna pop in this 13 round shader and try a larger needle grouping on the antenna here to see how it pulls thicker lines.
Looks nice and thick. Seems nice, thick, and saturated. Yeah, so it seems like the Brock is pulling some nice, thick lines. It's getting in the silicone really well with those larger needle groupings, so looking, looking pretty good. The battery looks like it's working really well. Uh, it's getting the five round liner in really well, nice and saturated. Same thing with the 13 round shader. So that's awesome. I think the battery works great. Let's try plugging in that RCA connection and see how well it works that way. So just that easy, I just screw on the RCA and we're good to go. Let's plug it in. Up at the same voltage at 10.5 right now. Okay, I think, yeah, I think I did feel a subtle difference not a crazy big difference, um, but yeah, it does feel like it penetrates slightly better with Musotoku, which is as to be expected. Compared to the battery, it should be a stronger power supply. And this thing is probably running at its most efficient with it plugged into the RCA. The weight distribution is really great. Um, with the RCA cable, I do find it more comfortable. Definitely a little bit more like some of my favorite machines that I've used. All the weight distribution is mostly at the bottom here, which I like. And it's not too light. It's not, doesn't feel too heavy either. Even with the battery, I feel like it's a good weight. It gives you a lot of good stability. Yeah, definitely see a difference there. Let's see, let's see how it does with the larger needle grouping. Shading. We got an 11 mag here. And try some shading now. decent place to stop. Okay, so I've done some mag shading here with the V1 and I can see a nice gradient. Um, I had good control, good saturation. I feel like it shades really really well and I would be interested to see how it performs on human skin. It definitely shades really well on the silicone so that is promising. That concludes my test of the Bronk V1 on silicone. The silicone test went really well for the Bronk. It has a beautiful display screen with 0.1 increments for voltage. It has the versatility of the battery versus the RCA connection here. It has a great weight to it uh, with or without the battery. It has good stability and control 
it feels like a good width um, for your hand. All of that under $200. I don't think you can beat that. So if you want to take advantage of our discount, please follow a link in the description below and use code FLOATYLADY at checkout. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for more reviews from Floaty Lady. Go check it out. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye.